In this tutorial, we are going to make a Hello World web page. I have my workspace already open and my folders created as required. And I'm going to create a new file. I will call this file Hello World. HTML. You can see along our path where this file is located. And when you create a new HTML file in VS Code, you can have it create a boilerplate template for you by just hitting the exclamation point. So that's the Shift-1 key and hit enter and it will pre-fill in the structure of a basic HTML5 document. As a quick recap of the code that was just created for you, this doc type tells you that it's HTML5. This HTML tag with the lang attribute tells you that it's going to be English language. The nice thing about VS Code, as you roll over sections of your code, you'll see these little IntelliSense tooltips that pop up, giving you more information about your attributes um, and your tags and where you can get more references on them. So as you look at your basic structure, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change the page title to Hello World. And inside of your body, you're just going to place in Hello World. And this is a very common, typical exercise for any programming language when you're first getting used to the editor and when you're first getting used to the language. Now that you've set up your Hello World web page, what you can do is hit Control S to save, or you can go to File and hit Save. Uh, one thing you may have noticed uh, when you had changes, uh, I'll just make another change real quick, you'll see that there's a little dot here. The X turns to a dot showing that you have unsaved changes. Additionally, in your VS Code, you'll see over here in Explorer that there's one unsaved file. You'll also see it here. So there's a lot of little tool tips that demonstrate that you need to make change me to save your changes uh, before viewing the work. Uh, once you've gone ahead and created your Hello World file, the next step is to actually view it uh, in your web browser. Uh, you'll notice there's an actual little run code button here uh, in your editor. Additionally, you have a run menu up here. Uh, being that this is HTML, there's really no major debugging that you can do. So you can start debugging or run without debugging. Uh, if you're working with other languages in VS Code, this really comes in handy. Um, if you wanted to you know, put breakpoints in and see where you may have some issues in your code. But with basic HTML, um, you really don't um, have much to do from a debugging standpoint at this stage. Uh, when you click the launch here, it wants to um, you know, choose which type of environment you want to run this from. Uh, as future web developers, one thing you're going to need to do regularly is to test your code in multiple browsers. Uh, currently, uh, you know, if this is a simple assignment uh, or task, one browser is fine, but as you add in more content uh, and eventually some cascading style sheets, CSS, and JavaScript um, and such into your web pages, you'll certainly want to test in other browsers like Edge and Firefox as well. And you can add in additional extensions for HTML. I'm just going to choose Chrome. And you'll see now that this is launching my Chrome browser. And if all worked well, you'll, you'll see the path to your computer to the file. Uh, you'll see the tab with the page title, Hello World. That's where the title the title HTML elements shows up in your tab and then in the body, Hello World. This concludes a simple web page creation using VS Code and creating Hello World.